you need to come give me that dick. He wanna hit from the back cause I'm dick. I like the fuck on him when I get lit. Yeah, tell me this pussy is Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's messy hair. You open an hour out. Hello, good morning. So bright, holy shit. So bright, look at that. It's fucking bright as fuck. Holy shit. It's bright as fuck today, man. Yeah, no, I know it's been a while. I know it's been a while. Okay, relax. Relax. I know it's been a while. It's been like a couple months. Uh, maybe more than that. Uh, uh, so today, I want to make some bread. I want to make some sourdough bread. Just because I want to start up some more videos, you know, I want to keep the videos going. But before we head to the kitchen, uh, I need to explain about something because I need to let you guys know why I cannot upload on those months before uh, the June, which is a holiday, March, which is not a holiday, not a holiday in here, not a holiday. It's not a holiday. Actually, in fact, they're not holidays at all. You know why? Because these two months, we have to study the hell out of ourselves. Why do we study in a holiday? Why do we stress ourselves so much? Look at my hair, it's flaying all about. Goodness. The reason is because our school decided, because due to a lockdown, they decided to shift the whole MST all the way to now. So in the holidays, we had to study our brains up because we have to prepare for the MST after the holiday, right after the holiday. So for four weeks straight, I have been studying, okay? I have been studying all over, and this is folded, okay? This is folded, we still got more inside, okay? These, these are all the notes, not even all, I have a whole box, okay? It's stressful, it's stressful, okay? It's stressful. You don't have me to tell you, okay? You can look at my hair. It's stressful. Look at my hair. Look at my hair. It's stressful. Okay? But the good news today is I just finished my commercial pilot theory exam. Whew, which is my last MST. So I'm feeling good today. I'm feeling good today. I I have been planning. I have been planning a lot of stories, a lot of things I want to tell. A lot of things I want you'll you'll see in the future. You'll see in the future. So today I'm gonna make bread and uh, you guys can get to see how I make it. Uh, I used to make it every fucking time about at least once a week, at least once a week, uh, even in the holidays because I need some extra food in the morning and I have a rule, I have a house rule. I try not to cook too much and make so much noise in the night where everyone's sleeping but I have the tendency to wake up in the middle of the night but sleep in the afternoon. Let's say this is a full day. I know it's inverted, but uh, let's invert this. Bloop! Okay! So, imagine I wake up at 8 a.m., okay? I wake up at 8 a.m., 10 a.m., I will sleep. All the way until 5 p.m. Then I wake up, just nice at the sunset, right over here, and then I'll just game, I'll just like play games or I like do work, study, as you can see. I rarely play games nowadays because I have to study. The sacrifice man i used to be a gamer i used to be a gamer uh, so all my life in the holidays i've been just seeing more the night than the day this is one of the rarest moments okay where sunlight is actually beaming on me i've been locked in here studying for so many days uh, is it even worth it we shall see in the future marks okay the marks haven't come out yet I'm hoping that it's gonna be a pass because I see and I I was I was disappointed. I was very disappointed. It's so hard. It's fucking tough. They give so many tough questions. Ah, especially the physics. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, let's go and make some bread first. Come on. I gotta be soft because they're still sleeping. So. Subtitles. Well, hey guys, it's Narrative Ruben here. Let me tell you what you're gonna need. So first thing first, you're gonna need some bread flour. And then you're gonna need a little bit of yeast. Instant yeast, by the way. Or dry yeast will do. And then grab yourself a little nice table salt. Doesn't have to be those kosher salt or anything fancy. Just get some normal salt.
Make sure to wash your hands, yeah? Now what you're gonna need is a plastic container, a medium one, not a lock kind, just a loose one. If you do have only the lock kind, just put a cloth over it but loan lock it. Now you're gonna need a tiny measuring cup or teaspoon at least. And another measuring cup to measure the water, at least about 300 milli. You want to get yourself a nice metal bowl, uh, the medium kind will do. And last but not least, get a scale. And last but not least, a fork. A fork is more easier than a spoon when it comes to mixing all the flour and all the ingredients together. So yeah, get yourself a nice fork. Now get 400 grams of flour into that metal bowl you have. If you don't know how much is 400 grams, put it on a scale. Make sure your plastic container is all clean and then you can junk in a little bit of flour inside. The reason why I separate them first is because I want to add salt on the other and salt kills yeast and yeast is the one that creates air bubbles. Now you're gonna have to get 300 milliliters of water and then pour it into the plastic container. Now you're gonna get one teaspoon of yeast and maybe a little bit lesser and then dunk it all in into the plastic container. And then last but not least, put the salt, one teaspoon as well. But this time, put it into the metal bowl. But if you put it in the plastic container, well, your yeast is dead. You can't make bread anymore. That's the reason why I separated them in the first place. Use your fork and then mix all of them up. But make sure you wash them in between because you don't want the salt from the other flour. Now we're gonna put in all the remaining flour from the metal bowl into the container and mix them well. It will look something like this. Don't worry, don't be disgusted by it. It's just the process of making bread. I did try adding a little bit more water before and a little bit more flour last time, but then it just makes the dough a little bit too wet. It's uh, not really that nice. So I find this is the perfect measurement. And last but not least, Cover it up and put it into your fridge for at least one day. Ah, and that is how to make bread. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, last of all, I see that there is a lot of uh, new people that I have from the Casey Neistat video. And there was a person who asked me also about why I make the Casey Neistat videos if they were not mine. Yes, I agree, they were not mine, but then I wanted to make a compilation of specifically him making stuff, like uh, whether it's spray painting on a skateboard, whether it's uh, fixing someone's bike along the bridge to New York, or whether it's putting a fan art onto his uh, wooden board uh, box in one of those episodes you can you guys can find it out the reason why i make this compilation is because i love to see him do his work you know ever since beam as well ever since the first damn vlog i love to watch him work i love it when he makes stuff out of 
random things out of unusable items, making trash to treasure, which is incredible. And his creativity in his films are also great. Every time I go out, you know, doing my projects, studies, I always put some videos of him on my screen and then I'll just do my studies and I just hear him like an audiobook, you know, and just hear him work, hear the grinds of the metal or the drills. It's just so amazing. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Bye bye.